Hey guys, in my previous video where we designed a travel app, I got a lot of questions about how I was able to get all these icons on the left side within Figma. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do that using what is known as theme libraries in Figma. So let's get right into that. Alright guys, before we start learning about theme libraries, if you're on a Figma free plan, I advise you to sign up for the Figma educational plan by just going to figma.com slash education. Now this will give you access to the Figma professional. So you'll be able to use theme libraries, which we are about to learn audio com um, conversations and so on and so forth. Alright, so let's get into it. Now theme libraries. Now I have a Figma file and I've already published the library on it and turned it on. So when I search for an icon, now this is not limited to just icons. When I search for an icon notification, I can see every single component called notification in that file. Now a component is basically a reusable element in your file. So this is a Figma file. Now every single icon here is a component. Right? Every single icon here is a component. We will look at this one too, the same thing. Every single icon here is a component. Now you can get so many icon packages from the Figma community. So when we go to the community, you can just search for iconly, you can search for view sat, anything. If as long as you know the icon pack you want to use, and then you just duplicate it into your Figma file. Now the next thing we want to do is that for team libraries to work, that particular Figma file needs to be in a team. Now, that was, that's the reason why I'm asking you guys to sign up for the educational plan to be able to create multiple teams. Now, I have a team called Resources. This is where I move every single file I want to publish as a library. Now, let, let me just duplicate something else, um, icons. Let me go to the community and say icons. So I'm going to duplicate this into my Figma file, my Figma account. So it will be duplicated. I just want to show you guys something. Okay, good. Now everything here. Um, looking for an icon lead pack. I'm looking for an icon lead pack. Okay, let me just duplicate this glass one here just to show you guys something. Alright, now remember I told you that for this to work, you need to make sure that everything is a component and Mind you, this is not restricted to just icon. It works for color styles, text styles, and all that. But just to uh, for understanding, sake, we're using icons. Now, when I go to assets, there's this little book icon here. When I click on that, which is known as Team Library, then we'll go to publish. Now, Figma is telling you that for this to work, you need to move this file to a team. So we are going to click move to team and then we'll select this particular team and then we'll move it in right now once that is done you get another screen that's telling you that hey do you want to publish everything there or you just want to select particular components to publish but then we want to publish everything so we'll just select everything you can decide to add descriptions whatever and then hit publish now this is going to assemble all your components and then just publish to your team library. So I'll do same for this component and um, this Figma file where we have our icon. Now that was already moved into a Figma team or a team. So we just hit publish and then it's gonna assemble. 
All right, this one is done publishing. Now let's see what changes here. You realize when we come back to this, we see a different thing. Before we were seeing the publish button, but this time around we are seeing that Figma is telling us this has been published and it's up to date. Now, if I edit anything in here, I deleted that. You realize that there's this little blue icon that comes here, which means that there's been a change. So when I go back to the team library and I go to that site, Figma tells you that, hey, you have one change that has not been published, which, which means that when I go to my other Figma file and I turn on that icon lead, um, team library published. So when you come here, you see that this resource is the team that we placed this Figma file in. And then these are all the team libraries that have been published. So icon link class icon. Now when we come, when we go, let me go back here. Good. When we look through this, you realize that the one I deleted over here, which is the bookmark one, let's go back here, has not taken effect because we've not published this is it we've not published that change we made um, change we made so now i'm going to publish this change and then this automatically is going to take effect in this section so good you look at that it's just disappeared just like that so this way no matter what happens you are up to date so if you're working in a team and probably this normally is for a design system and but to help me work faster i like using it for icons and all that so you can have other design elements or resources you maybe downloaded of, um downloaded of figma community you can just publish them and then use them in any figma file you're working in which means this is going to help you a lot because you don't have to necessarily move outside figma to download icons and all that now these are two main icon packs i use view sacks and then icon link. so you can just go to Figma community, search for them, you duplicate them, and then you just publish them as team library, just like I taught you. And then when you go to the file you're working in, same process, you go to team library, and then you look for that team library that was published, and then you just turn it on. So when I turn this one on, it comes, it's now available in this file, and then I'll turn the last one on, and boom, I have three different if we look over here, you see that we have iconly 500 plus essential icons. We have iconly the glass icons, and then we have the view stacks modified kit. So I have so many icons I can use. And then the search functionality, when I just search notification, we just pull up every single element or every single component which is named notification, and then I can just use it. So that's how or this is what I was using in that video where we're designing our travel app. I hope I answered your questions. If you have any more questions, you are free to leave them in the comments and I'll respond to them. If there's any video or any tutorial you'd want me to create, kindly let me know in the comments as well. You can shoot me a DM on Instagram as regard.design. Um, yeah, that'll be it for this video, guys. I'll see you in my next video.